Samaritan business. Now that doesn't sound like the Al Hughes I know. Look at these boys. You turned their lives around, Al. Eddie, the dope dealer, look where he is today on the mayor's staff. And Lenny, the subway mugger. Now he owns his own stereo store. Dan, what about Phil? He's in jail for robbing Lenny. <laughs> One out of 25. I'm telling you, Al, you and Grace had a great average. Yeah, me and Grace. But things are different now. Grace is gone. I'm all alone. Yes, Al, I think I can understand how you feel. But this kid, Tony, is special. And you're my last chance. If you turn me down, they're going to lock this kid up. Oh, don't look at me with them big Bambi eyes. <laughs> I like them on Bambi and I don't like them on you. <laughs> look, Al, all I'm asking you to do is talk to Tony. And then we'll go from there. 
If Grace were here, she'd at least meet the kid. Now you're fighting dirty. <laughs> hey, I'm desperate. I don't want to lose this one. Okay, okay, I'll talk to him. But it ain't gonna do no... Terrific! I'm gonna have Tony here this afternoon. Oh, squeeze me too tight. You've cut the blood off to my foot. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's not going to do it any, any good. So, Al, come on, I got to know. Are you going to co-sign this loan or not? I don't know what I'm thinking. Now, you're the guy who's always hyping me on going to college, so I signed up. And did you know that Bishula College is rated one of the top five beauty colleges in the world? Yeah, I hear that football team will scratch your eyes out. <laughs> yeah? Some of the guys think I'm dumb for doing this. You, you don't think I'm dumb, do you? Oh, I know about dumb. I'm signing your loan application, Anna. Thanks a lot, Al. Well, I better get down there. I gotta go find a left-handed blow drive. <laughs> Who said that? Where's Hughes? Who are you? Who are you? What's it to you? He wants to know. What are we talking about? I'm looking for Al Hughes, man. I'm Al Hughes. Hughes, I'm Rutledge. Rutledge, I'm Hughes. You sell me something? I don't want none. I don't want no scout cookies, and I don't want no tickets to your school play. Who does Adams tell you about me? Oh, the notorious criminals got people locking their doors and pulling down their shades. I'm not a bad kid. I'm not a good kid, but I'm not public enemy number one. Well, why are you in so much trouble? Who knows? I was just spray painting one of the subway tunnels. They called it defacing public property. I call it art. That's what I do. I'm a street artist, and I'm good. We'll send you up for that. Well, there were a couple other things. I figured that. <laughs> I might have broke into a few pay phones, and I maybe sort of hot-wired this car, and I drove around a little. I made it all the way to Miami. <laughs> that's all in the past now. What's really important here is I could start this afternoon. I mean, let's face it, this dinosaur could use some new blood. So what do you say? Hit the road, Jack, and don't you come back no more. <laughs> that's it? We're done talking? You're sending a 15-year-old kid to prison? Well, that's gonna haunt you, man. You'll never be able to forget it. I'm old. I forget everything. <laughs> No problem. He wants me to start this afternoon. <laughs> That's great. I knew Al wouldn't let me down. came to the right place. <laughs> could have been a could have been a rat. <laughs> could have been a big rat. <laughs> Right? 
Well, I thought it over, and I decided that you totally blew it today, but you deserve another chance. So, uh, why don't we sit down and rap? Rap? I'll rap you upside your head. <laughs> Annoying, especially to a cranky dude like you. Listen, youngster, I'm gonna give you a chance to catch your breath. And then you can write out your will. Hey, Mr. Hughes, you okay? Come on, I'm not gonna fall for this old trick. Hey. Hey. Mr. Hughes? Gotcha. <laughs> old tricks are the best. <laughs> it's not like I'm asking for the world. I mean, what could it cost? Nothing. Just give me three days to prove myself around here. I mean, look. I'm not trying to pull your string or nothing, but you know what could happen to a kid like me if I land in the joint? Oh, man, I don't even want to think about it. Well? Are you through or have I gone deaf? <laughs> now, what are you going to do around here? Clean out the cash register? Hughes, if I'd have wanted your cash, I'd have had it. This place ain't exactly Fort Knox. I mean, the Care Bears could knock it over. <laughs> hey, that's something I could do. I could be your security person. Yeah, just what I need. An attack shrimp. <laughs> Now, let's total this up, okay? I didn't steal nothing. You gotta admit, that's a plus. And I don't like you, and you gotta admit, that's a minus. <laughs> I'm friendly, I'm loyal, and I'm clean. So is a cocker spaniel. <laughs> Two minuses. I'll grow on you. I don't have to grow on me. <laughs> I could have been in Canada by now, but I stuck around. What about that? That's a semi-plus. There you go. Two pluses. I'm in. Wait a minute. That's two minuses. One? Oh, it's two minuses and one... Is that two pluses and one? Well, the hell with it. You got yourself three days. Now, if you screw up, you're out of here. Great! That's okay. I guess it won't hurt to have a boy around here for a while to help with the heavy stuff. Right. I think I'll call the Pope. Maybe he'll declare it a miracle. <laughs> I see you met. I graduated from the Fidel Castro School of Cooking. <laughs> not bad, not bad, Al. Don't mind him. As a child, he was dropped on his head by his father at the request of his mother. Does she remind you of the Mississippi River? Flatlands on one end, and at the other end, a big mouth. <laughs> Got anything good? Maybe. My dad used to play the horses a long time ago. I was just a kid. He'd go through all the handicapping stuff, he'd narrow it down to three, then he'd let me pick the one I liked. Yeah. I must not have picked a lot of winners. I woke up one morning, he was gone. I better go unload those deliveries. <laughs> change for the phone. I'm not robbing the place. Are you robbing the place? It's at night. What are you doing at night? He's ripping you off. Do I look like a thief? I am a beautician, man. 
Krishula College, class of 89. Hell no. <laughs> I thought he was trying to rip you off. All right, Rambo. Come in. You got any more? <laughs> no tank? took these off the kid. He spends more on defense than Ronald Reagan. <laughs> the bad feeling about him from the start. So you pulled a knife on Billy Van Zandt? I wish I could have seen that. His eyes about came out of his head. He just stood there like this. I apologized later. He was real nice about it. He's a really cute guy. Oh. I, I mean, he's a really cu cool guy. Tony, come here. I, I really got... <laughs> I like to think of myself as an expert on a couple of things. Cooking and the opposite sex. I've been watching you. You don't look very opposite to me. <laughs> what do you mean? I mean, the way you walk, the way you talk. Oh, he's really a cute guy. Sounds like girl talk. You're a girl. What? You out of your mind? Come on, Tony. Do I look like somebody who can't spot her own species? <laughs> <laughs> You're busted. No way. I'm telling you something. Conning that old guy is no way to start a rehabilitation program. Remember, you're here because he trusts you. Okay, okay. I'm a girl. Well, you tell Hughes, and I'm going to be doing some time. Hughes needs a guy, not a girl. <clears throat> Look, man, you got to talk. You and me got a personality problem. What's the problem? Your personality. <laughs> what? Well, see, I'm picky about the people that work for me. And so far, your work isn't good enough. So I called that lady from Dollar Crook and told her you got to go. <laughs> You're really something else, man. Come off like a straight shooter, somebody you could trust. But you just died, man. Up. I would have gone by myself. Ever since my dad took off, people have been setting me up, promising me stuff, then sloughing me off. But this kid's gonna make it. It'll take a couple of years, but I'll be fine. Not you, Hughes. You're scared of something, old man, and you're blaming it on me. Don't say nothing. I wasn't gonna say nothing. But if I was, I'd say you just acted like a gigantic bozo. I'm glad you didn't see it. <laughs> hey, what kind of soup is this? It's not soup. I'm boiling your shorts. <laughs> Man, this is Pierre Cardin. I'm sorry, Pierre. <laughs> I'll, I'll, pay, I'll pay for your break. Uh, I'll take a rain check, okay? <laughs> no, no. I want to talk with you. You miss Tony, don't you, Al? You liked him. You liked him because he woke you up. So I liked him. Everybody you like, you lose. Grace is gone. 
All the kids are gone. One day a blind man will walk in here and marry you and you be gone. <laughs> Tony. Is that so bad? To need somebody? No man is an island. John Dunn, 1621. I am what I am, and that's all I am. Popeye, 1932. <laughs> <laughs> I sure wish Grace was here. She would do the right thing. I never do anything right. Let me tell you something, Al. You're wimping out sitting here feeling sorry for yourself. I remember you hired me when nobody else would. You taught me to feel like I was worth something. You got a gift for helping people believe in themselves. And it started to work on Tony. I'm going to hear Fine. 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 been struck by lightning? <laughs> Get out of there. Make it fast, Hughes. I don't want to be late for my first day in the slammer. You're not going anywhere. We got magazines to stack. Diane needs help. The floors need to be swept. Are you coming to work or not? Are you serious? Of course I'm serious. You're not going to change your mind again? No. No matter what happens? No matter. You, you got my word. All right. Ten four. Book them, Dan. I'll smoke them if you get them. <laughs> All right, Tony. Listen, kid. I'm going upstairs and... Watch the ball game. You got to take care of the newsstand today. Okay, I, I, I just want you to know that I'm going to work real hard for you. And I don't expect no special treatment just because I'm a girl. Fine, fine. <laughs> you to treat me any different just because I'm a girl. No, you're not. <laughs> you're not a girl. I wouldn't hire no girl. I don't want no girl. You be a girl for your time, not on my time. I, I knew he'd take it well. <laughs> Life sometimes ain't so pretty. You're on your own. 